Hello again, and a Westbridge Hills welcome to episode 12 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Finally, field 16 is ready to harvest. So, without further ado, let's do just that. I'm going to stick with it on this episode, it will just be harvesting this field. I will try to avoid, where possible, flitting off to do other things. Unfortunately, because of the time it may take in combine or um, emptying the combine, you may have to put up with uh, my usual musings about the game, the world in general, that kind of thing. Um, you shouldn't have to. Um, you can always skip through those. Or if you agree, disagree, Communicate, comment, like, subscribe. Who knows? I may make it into double digits with my subscribers. I'm struggling somewhat. Not quite sure what it is I'm doing differently to everyone else. People that post their uh, clips and within, oh, I don't know, an hour, two hours, they've had 30,000 like, uh, views. Hmm. Baffling. Right place at the right time, I guess. But, anyway, a bit of ink cab. Don't do it very often. Might get a bit twitchy on the steering wheel. Just to make sure I'm lined up all the time. Hopefully a lot of dodgy camera angles. <laughs> but with this harvester, it really shouldn't take too long. Go nice and quick and filling up pretty well. So picture the scene if you will. You're sat having a lovely picnic. Lovely golden canola field in front of you. Listen to the birds tweeting and enjoying a lovely summer's day. Then some idiot in a case harvester comes thundering past and ruins your day. Well, wouldn't ruin my day. I'd be quite excited. And then it's gone. Peace and quiet again. Apologies for that brief interlude. I think I'm uh, slipping into the realms of insanity. But I did think it was an interesting camera angle. It's just the audio, the commentary that uh, let that bit down a bit. Anyway, continuing on. Should be too long before I'm full. Probably at the bottom of this row, I would think. A nice little bit of income. I am now considering my options for the next step. We have field 10, which is planted and growing. Again with canola. Uh, um, it seems to be a bigger field, so it should be a bigger payout for that one. Uh, we've got field 20, which is growing with barley in now. Um, so I am also considering now, maybe, if I get a little bit more money, Buying a roll belt harvester, the New Holland one, the small one, 
and when I do the barley field, rather than doing an all crop harvest on it, I do it for the straw swaths and bale it. And then I've got some straw bales ready for doing mixed ration with the cows. That's what I'm thinking. And um, whatever, what, how many bales I've got left over, I can always sell them. It won't be a huge amount of money, but it'll be a bit of money. And it'll also be something a bit different, a bit of bailing. I haven't done any of that yet on the map. Um, it kind of puts some stuff in storage ready for the cows. I obviously haven't got enough money yet to bowl the rest of the stuff, but could work, could work. But again, I'm just uh, just toying with ideas, mulling them over in my head, and trying to work out the best options, or whether to do another cycle on each of these fields and then look at doing that. Because um, I'm thinking, I think for 80 something, 89,000, I could probably get field 19, I believe it was as well, down the bottom by the restaurant. So that's an option. Right, jumping our trusty Deutz file. Good combination these two together. It doesn't look too out of place. The trailer doesn't look too massive. I mean, it's a big trailer. Don't get me wrong, but it, it doesn't look odd. Empties fairly quickly. So I'm just trying to think of something each, sort of every other episode. There's going to have to be a harvest of some sort. I'm just wondering whether or not for a couple of episodes or off camera to do a couple of harvest cycles to build up a bit of money and then come back on and do an episode after that. Um, otherwise people are going to get bored just coming and watching me harvesting every single episode. That's why I'm trying to think of other things to do to, to mix up a little bit. So I think bailing might be an interesting way of doing it. The trees I planted in the last episode are going to take a while to grow, so there won't be any logging or wood chipping to do for a while. Um, I can get some sheep, of course, but I do need a faster way of collecting grass because that's so slow so incredibly slow um, that's an option but it does mean I'm going to need another trailer for putting the wool pallets onto but again it's doable I've got the, I've got the uh, skid steer with the pallet forks now so I could could do a bit of that I mean sort of whizzing it over there on the low loader I, mean, I think that skids just going to get quite a bit of work for a while so that I can afford a telehandler and a tractor with a front loader but yeah, let's uh, what order to do it all in and again, th there are plenty of gameplay series you know, there have got countless people out there YouTubers who are doing this on a regular basis on all different maps on PC versions, multiple maps so people don't have to sit and watch the, the bog standard maps you get with the game. And it's trying to find something a bit different, using different vehicles, a different way of doing it, you know. So maybe people watch and go, oh, okay, I've never thought of doing it that way, or, oh, yeah, I might try that next time I do it, or, you know, or I'm never doing it that way because that's stupid. Whichever way around it might be. Attention to detail is brilliant. I 
I think I'm incredibly lucky in that I joined this kind of game series at FS15. Um, never played FS13 or 11 or 9. Um, and I think on the cusp of FS17, where it should take you know another leap forward. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite surprising how games change. You know, I must admit, um, playing Gran Turismo on PlayStation, the first PlayStation, when it first came out, and it being the, the bee's knees, the best game out, playing every incarnation of it, up to the last one I played, which was Gran Turismo 6. Um, playing Gran Turismo 6, then going back and looking at screenshots and stuff of Gran Turismo, the original... You, you just can't believe you ever played it. You can't believe how appallingly plain and bland and boring and, and blocky. And But at the time, it was cutting edge. It, it's just surprising how that happens. So I suppose it's the same with any game series, isn't it? At the time when you're playing it, it's brilliant. You know, it's, it's what you've got and it's better than the last. You know, I'm sure by the time they get to FS20 or however long they keep going for, you'll look back at FS15 and go, oh my god. That was so boring, it was so plain, it was so ordinary. Um, but it's a good game series. I do get the impression it's one of those game series that takes people by surprise. The amount of people that kind of scoff at it, and if you ever mention it, and then, like, oh, you know, farming simulator, what's the matter with you? Oh, that was a bit of a paranormal moment there. I think I've just broken my spine or my neck, whichever. Rotating 360 degrees round. But anyway, yes. Um, yeah, and, and then you find, you know, people have a go. They play it for a little bit and it's actually incredibly addictive. You know, um, I'm preaching to converted. Anyone that's probably watching these probably plays it. Um, and probably knows just how addictive it is. Right, should almost be full again, I believe. Jump on over for a pickup. Hopefully, it will turn around before it's full. So I don't have to muck around with it. And the beauty with the new harvester means I can unload on the move. I haven't got to stop and try and get that trailer at a funny angle at the back for it to unload. As I said before, we are getting there. We, it's, it's much quicker doing this field now. Must concentrate. Oh no, I've drifted offline. It stopped unloading. There we go. Trying to combine unloading, driving from the side, making the camera shot look interesting, and messing it up right royally. Anyway, unloaded, brilliant, move on. Probably only got a couple of strips left now, but what's interesting, or what I think is interesting, and we're going to have a look at now, if I stop talking for a few minutes is watching the tank fill up. The attention to detail and the graphics and the little things that they could have just not bothered. They could have just blanked that, screwed that little window out and decided, you know what, Pff, no one's going to know, who's going to care?
There you go, just nipped off for a cup of tea. Now I'm back again. And we're pretty much done with this harvest. All that waiting, all that time waiting for field 16 to be ready to harvest. And there we have it. At last, done. I will probably cultivate and seed it and fertilise it off screen. Not as much in that last load. Not enough to fill the bigger trailer, but just a little bit too much for the fleek or the 32,000 litre. Right, shut it all down, fold it all up, and pack it all away until next time. I'm trying to think what sort of harvesting and what sort of weather conditions you'd have to drive this around in for these to get dirty. The harvesters seem to take a long time to get dirty. Right, so sell this off. As usual, where's the best place? Oh, actually, I'm sure, yes, I have got, I'm um, thinking about it a little bit left in the silo that I dumped off last time after the last load not a huge amount, probably a couple of thousand maybe, not even that much there we go and I'm assuming canola's normally, flour meal is normally the best place for it yeah it's just dollars in it and not a huge amount but it is yeah it is the pain the best and it's the closest luckily enough so we'll whiz on over there and sell this canola saw another one of the uh, giants releases today for more vehicles they've added to the uh, kind of list of ones that are going to be available. They're going to have a new Holland T8. The picture on there does show one. It does look, unless it's just a funny camera angle, like it's got big old chunky tyres in the front, um, which will be nice. A few different cultivators, a couple of different ploughs are on there now. A uh, different company with uh, front weights. I can't remember the name of the company now, it escapes me. But if you haven't seen it, go on to the Farming Simulator website. Um, go to the Farming Simulator 17, have a look. Or find clips on YouTube, there's plenty out there. Right, that's it. Field 16. Done at last. Park up the Deutz Farm. Ready for another day's hard work. Actually, I'll probably hook up the uh, cedar because I'm going to need to use it, so that'll be ready to use. But that's it. Field 16, finally done. Stuck with one field, did it to the end. I hope you've enjoyed the episode and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.